Hey guys, I'm Sam Peshik and I'm here with the legendary UCLA gymnastics head coach, Miss Val. There is a lot of ways we can do this, but let me just start by asking you, why are we here? Well, I am here <laughs> because I am announcing my retirement from coaching at UCLA. And you are here because when they asked who I would like to interview me for this retirement interview, of course it was Sammy. So thank you for doing this. Oh, Miss Val, it's welcome. such an honor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Hard okay. hitting question. Okay, here we go. Why now? You know what, honestly, it just feels right. I've always had so much on my plate and there's always been so many things that I've been excited to do in life. I wanted to write a book, so I wrote a book. And I choreograph, and I choreograph at SeaWorld. And I've got two productions that are hopefully going to be coming to fruition in the next few years. One is a film for hopefully Netflix or Hulu or somewhere like that. And the other one is a theater show, um, Broadway theater show. Both of them are getting a lot of interest. Something else on the plate, actually for the last many years, since even when Coach Wooden was alive, is I've always felt very strongly that there needs to be a course on John Wooden at UCLA. And so I'm working with a professor at UCLA to bring a course to, of John Wooden to the entire student body, not just like as a specialty course. And working on a production of Full Out 2. There's all these things and I just feel like it's the time in my life I have the energy and it's time. I really do feel it's time for UCLA Gymnastics to have fresh blood and new leadership. I know that sounds weird considering we just came off of a championship and our fan base is growing exponentially, but I really feel strongly about that. You have been such an integral part, not only of the UCLA gymnastics program, but of the entire university. So in your 28 seasons as a head coach for the gymnastics team, looking back, have you accomplished everything you wanted to? Absolutely, yeah. The seven championships have been obviously very, very fun, but the most important thing is really helping young women grow up and continue to grow up in, in this glorious sport at this university, to have had so many alumni and have the relationships as I do with them, it's more than I could have ever dreamed of. Did you ever imagine that you'd be able to help as many student athletes as you have? No, no. I mean, this, this whole career, this whole 36 years I've been at UCLA is just mind blowing, honestly. And every year it's just, I can't believe I get to do this. Like, how did, how did all that happen? How did this happen? How did I end up at this amazing university with this amazing gymnastics program and I get to work with people like you? How did that happen? Well, I feel the same, that I get to work with people like you. Thank you. And recently you've talked a lot about the message of finding your voice and having a voice. Mm -hmm. What made you become so passionate about that? Working with 18 to 22 year olds, young women, I think it's a really magical time. And I think it's an age where you start to have an awakening and you start figuring out who you want to be, what type of a person you want to be. And through a lot of that comes a lot of questioning. I've always felt my role was to help each of you find your inner voice, your uniqueness that makes you really special and very different from your teammates and help you Find it, fuel it, own it, and be able to share things with you maybe that you wouldn't see. To be able to do that with you and each of your teammates was just such a joy for me um, and, and, in, and a challenge. I think that's really when the coaching part becomes magical because it's like I don't feel like I ever worked a day in my life because I just love what I do so much. I look at the program as an entity, as a vibrant thriving entity and I have been the person in charge of fueling that and bringing it to life and building the brand and cultivating it and making it something that the university is proud of. It's been such a privilege really. So when you retire and you're pursuing all of these different endeavors, what do you want to be known for? Making a difference. Just planting a seed in someone's life and having it marinate, have them marinate on it and having it make a difference in their lives because I know that I've had so many mentors and you know I just I love learning I love reading I love podcasts I plan on 
doing all of this and learning until the day I die. Looking towards your last season mm -hmm. as the UCLA gymnastics head coach, what kind of emotions does that bring up? It's been very emotional. I do not know how my predecessors that were there for 30 something years, Greg and Sarah and Suzanne did it. But you know what, it really makes every moment sweeter. Every moment now is just magnified. And it's like when I look into our new freshmen's eyes and I realize I only have eight months with them. And it's, it's so impactful. And I, I want them every moment to be memorable for them as well as for myself, so. You've already had a, a really successful career as a coach in terms of, you know, stats or how a coach is typically defined. What do you want to happen this year for it to be the cherry on top of an already amazingly successful career as a coach? I would like to have another year where we have no regrets. And I can say that having no regrets is the first thing because when you watch the video from this last season and you watch Pang dismount and the team went crazy, crying, we thought we were finishing maybe second. Then Pang's score came up and it was a 10 and they all went crazy all over again. But we didn't know we had won. That emotion was simply coming from the fact that we left it all on the floor without any regrets. So it's the day after the 2019 NCAA Gymnastics Championships. Win or lose, what are you gonna miss the most about being a coach? The athletes and the relationships with the coaching staff. That's it. You know, competitions for me are just, okay, a culmination of our, all of our hard work, but I don't go, yeah, it's, comp it's meet day, I'm so excited. I've never <laughs> felt that, ever. That's true. Ever. That's true. John Wooden was obviously a huge impact in your life. I know that for being an athlete on your team, and I think anyone that knows you can see it in, in your actions and the way that you mentor and the way that you coach. If John Wooden were sitting here today, what would he say to you? He would, pr I would hope that he would say, honey, I'm so proud of you. I know he would. You had to ask that question, <laughs> did you say? <laughs> well, gosh, now you're making me cry. Okay. He would be proud. Thank you. All right, well, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to interview you and make this really special, special announcement. I know you're gonna do amazing things after your retirement, and I can't wait to support you and watch you and be inspired by your journey just like I have been Thank as you as my coach. Thank you. Thank you everyone for all your support.